trade is high. Had a late night uh, last night just watching New York Stock Exchange. I uh, just still paper trading. Lost around sixty dollars due to execution issues. So um, if I look pretty shitty, that's why. But I just thought I'd do a quick update video on the euro trade now. Just floating around, um, you know, break even right now. I would probably call this some Asian drift carrying currently. Pun the pun. Um, so yeah, so it's just. There's where I got in, so yeah, so it was a qu quite aggressive to start, and then it's just sort of, I wouldn't say there's been any negatives, um, the four hour, this was quite bearish, but it was above the um, support line there, so I didn't, <clears throat> you know, yeah, that's bearish, but it's, it's sort of positive to me. What what I will review though is just how how it goes uh, during non farm payroll, and then I'll review the position a little bit. Um, well, yeah, I'll see. Let's see how it goes though, because the problem that I do have is that it's it's gone, you know, it's uptrend for quite some time. So it's just inevitability that it might, you know, have a major retrace. But um, yeah, I'll, I'll, I will hold it through NFP. And then if it, you know, really what I should be saying is <laughs> if um, it's a stop loss sell. But I, you know, I don't mind closing it early if it's seventy percent of the stop loss if that happens. So, but currently this is where it's at, guys. Um, just a quick video. <laughs> Haven't had breakfast yet. I just got up pretty late at ten. Just sort of laid in bed and watched some more Forex stuff. Living the dream, baby. How's the Aussie dollar doing? Yeah, so the Aussie's really, it made its move, made it again, and now it's this. Yeah. There's no real negative news, but I see it just hovering around here now. So no, there's no trade here for me. Um, got the Canadian. I guess it's, it's had a little bit of a bounce from those lows. Um, Swissy. Yeah, it's not really, it's not really tradable for me personally. What about the pound? Okay. Wow. Might see a little retrace. I mean, a candle like that is enormous, so you might see it just come back up to the high there and then just float around and, you know, go sideways for a while. Um, uh, was he yen? Okay, so it's broken all that box there. Interesting, but no real trade opportunity for me quite yet. I mean, that's got to develop a bit more, and then you've got that um, support zone as well. So there's a few, <laughs> there's a few considerations. We can't just sort of jump in aimlessly because that's that hurts accounts. Uh, all right, Kiwi. Yeah, it's just a minor pullback. I can't really get in on that. Uh, oh, there we go. USD yen. Uh, I don't know why my charts are doing that where there's no sidebar. It's just this. Okay, well, we will keep this quick. And my right mouse thing doesn't want to work. Come on, man. What about this? Does this want to work? Doesn't want to work. All right. So, four hourly. I can work this out. <laughs> Might have to restart the computer because it's not letting me click. Template. Properties. Okay, back to that eventually. Now I'm just wrong. Um, look, I apply the ball into bands and whatnot, but um, well, actually, that's quite interesting. It's um, down training. No real specific uh, signal here to get into, and there's a little bit of support there as well. So, no trade. Anyway, guys, in conclusion, EURUSD, I'm still holding that uh, position. And 
we'll see how it reacts to NFP. And upon that, it's pretty negative um, for if it's good news for the US dollar with better than expected figures, then I might I might close it out because what you know it's gone up quite high and it could fall. There could be an abrupt retrace potentially. So but we'll see guys. Stay tuned. Um, follow me on Instagram as well, Scotty's Trading. I do the stories, so that's a lot easier for me. Um, just throughout the day, if I check the charts, and I can just let you know if I see something. Um, but I can't really get into another position either because it's near 2% risk. And that's, for me personally, that's I don't risk any more than that. Unless this goes up abruptly and I move to break even, then I can get into another trade. Anyway, guys, good luck for the rest of the day and enjoy your Friday. Bye.